What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over planning trips, which is the second problem of the top coder contest of SRM 799. Okay, so um, basically the problem is asking that this guy is going to travel to end locations. This girl, this girl is going to travel to end locations, okay? She's planned everything and she knows the travel costs. The So the weird thing for travel costs is that the travel cost is um it's the cost for a travel cost is basically summing a to the cost of each ticket so the travel cost for the ticket or trip turned out to be special it's the cost of all tickets powers for the same a so more precisely the travel cost of the location i costs a to the num i tickets uh units of money okay so uh she wants to pay for all n tickets at the same time and her payment must be a power of eight. Okay, so to avoid paying for more net than necessary, she wants to find the smallest non-negative integer k such that the payment of a to the k is enough to pay for all the tickets. Okay, so um, here I'll, I'll explain what that means. Okay, so in the first example, we have 10, a is equal to 10. So let's actually open this up. So in the first example, we have a is equal to 10. And then... Um, the array is for each uh, for the values for each ticket is five, six, and three. Okay, so it's five, six, and three. Okay, so these are the values for each ticket, and the sum of the whole trip is going to be a to the um, the power of each ticket, right? Num of i, right? So it's a summation of a to the num of i. Okay, that's what it is. So in this example, what this is doing is that um hold up let me just move this up real quick okay so in this example basically if you in order the total cost of the trip is going to be 10 because because it's a right to the fifth plus 10 to the six plus 10 to the third okay and um basically after you add up all of these numbers right um you get a certain number right which is going to be uh i think they even gave it to us they even gave it to us hold up um yeah it's one 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 zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero 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 one one zero one zero 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 yeah which is this number right Okay, and the what she wants is she wants to find the smallest k such that it's greater than this. Okay, smallest a to the k. So here, this value, right, we need to find 10 to the k has to be greater than or equal to this number, which is 1101000. One, one, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay, that's what we need to find. It is able to pay for it. So in this case, 10 to the seventh is greater than or equal to. So in this case, 10 to the seventh, k is, would equal to seven because 10 to the seventh, seventh would be greater than or equal to this. Okay, so um, how do you do this problem? Well, um, before we even get started doing the problem, let's think about powers, understand about powers. Okay, so let's say I had like a is equal to four or something. Right. So uh, let's say I'd like four to the third plus four to the uh, I have no idea. Um, yeah, four to the third plus four to the third plus four to the third plus four to the third. Right. So in order to understand how to do this problem, think about this. How would you simplify this? Right. This expression. Well, if you had this expression, right, you can't just add the exponents because in order to add the exponents that that only works for, from laws of exponents only works for multiplying them together so you cannot add the exponents what you can do is that because it's four to the third plus four to the third plus four to the third plus four to the third what you do you realize that this is actually just uh four to the third is getting added to itself four times so if you want to simplify this expression you would be four to the third times four Right, and because anything to the first power is one, so this would be four to the fourth. 
right? So this is just like a basic example, how you would simplify summations of exponents, right? So um, basically based on this conclusion, as long as if, if I add a certain power, like this, this power, add it a certain number of times, and it's actually equal to a, if it's, if the, if I add the certain number of times, it's actually equal to a, then, um, then, then we could just simplify it down and remove the, the number of times this showed up. And then this would be four to the fourth, right? So if you had a, like, if you given like a giant expression, so let's, let's show, show another example. Um, let's say this, this, this example, uh, two to two, 13, 13, right? So two a is equal to two. And we have uh, the array is 13 and 13, right? So in this example, um, the summation is going to be 2 to the 13 plus 2 to the 13, right? And in this case, this is going to equal to 2 to the 13 times 2. Whoops. Right? If you simplify this down, it's going to equal 2 to the 13 times 2. So then because these are now multiplied, and this is a 1, um, this is going to equal 2 to 14. So the answer returns in the end is going to equal to 14, right? K would equal to 14, right? Because this is equal to two to the K, right? So the smallest K that is just larger than or equal to this value is going to be 14. So the idea for this problem is basically to simplify the exponents every single time um, is basically to go through the array uh, every single time you add a certain number of occurrences of the exponent right? If it reaches a, so in this case, a is two, right? So if I added, added this, these values a certain number of times and it, and it reaches a, in this case it's two, right? So two to 13 plus two to 13. I did that twice, right? What I would do is I would remove 13 from my number of occurrences and then I would add 14, right? Cause that would, I'm, I'm, that's the next largest exponent, right? That's just simplifying the next largest exponent. That would add the next largest exponent, right? So if I keep doing this while I'm looping through my array of exponents, in the end, I'm going to get the largest exponent that I could use in order to do it, right? Um, there is a caveat. So let's say I couldn't simplify anything down. So let's say I had like, uh, I don't know. Let's say I had 14, 13, 12 or something, right? So um, in this case, uh, and a is equal to two, right? In this case, two to the 14 plus two to the 13 plus two to the 12, right? In this case, I cannot simplify this down anymore. Um, ideally I can't, I don't think so. Yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah. Cause you're not adding two to the 14 this down. So in this case, um, it can't just be the largest exponent that you kept track of. It can't, it's not, it can't just be 14. So what you have to do is in this scenario, you actually have to add one to the largest exponent. So 14 plus one is 15, right? Because if you sum up, if you add these together, the maximum exponent two to the K that's just larger than this has to be the next exponent of your largest exponent, right? K would have to be the next exponent because two to the 14th is not greater than it is smaller than the sum of two to the 14 plus two to the 13 plus two to the 12. Right. So like if I sum these up, the largest exponent two to the K, right. It can't be 14, right. Cause that's smaller than the rest. So you have to take the largest exponent here, 14 and add one by one. So in this case, K would equal to 15. Okay. So yeah, that's basically how you do this problem. So you would loop through the loop through your array, keep track the number of times, a number of occurrences you're doing. Uh, keep track of the number of occurrences that you're adding up. And then um, when once you reach the number of occurrences that you're adding up for each exponent reaches a, um, you remove the previous, you remove the previous exponent from your array and you add, uh, you add one to the next occurrence, right? So if it was 14, 14, if this was if two to the 14 got added with two to the 14 again, and it became two to the 15, I would remove 14 from my array and I would add 15 to my array. In the end, whatever value is just going to be your maximum exponent. Um, if your maximum exponent, if you have more than one 
if you if you have more than one size in your number of exponents, like in this case, 14, 13, 12, you have to add one to your final exponent, right? So if you had more, if the size of your exponents in the end is greater than one, then it's just you have to add one to your final exponent. Okay. So I hope I, I hope I explained that correctly. So basically, keep loop through your array, keep track of how many exponents you added while you're simplifying it, right? If you added a certain exponent, um, the number of occurrences of your exponent is equal to a, right? Um, remove that exponent, add the next exponent. So add one, 15. Continue doing that until you're done with your array. In the end, if your array has more than one value, right? So in this case, 14, 13, 12. If your array has more than one value and you can't simplify it anymore, it's just going to be 14 plus one. It would just, it's just going to be your largest value of your exponent plus one, so 15. If it's not, like if 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 all your values or your exponents actually simplify down to one exponent, like two to the 14, then it's just two to the 14. Okay, so yeah, that's how you do it. I'm gonna code it up with you guys because I didn't actually submit this yet. But yeah, so this solution is actually brought to you by uh, this guy who actually coded this up. He hacked me during the contest, so yeah, but his, his solution makes sense. So I'll actually just code this up with you guys. Okay, so I'm in the practice room. And um, yeah, so here we have find, we have the, uh, we have find uh, a vector int num. So this is like the, the class and the method you have to submit. So I'm gonna include map because I need to use a map to keep track of the occurrences of each exponent. So num is the number is the array of your exponents. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop through my every single exponent, right? Now I'm gonna keep track in, in a map. So let's call this map. Uh, let's do long long int, okay? Uh, this is occurrence. So here I'm gonna do occur at num at i plus plus. Okay, so while I'm going through this, if um, okay, so now I'm going to get the um, so what what he did is he got the while this is equal to a right, then you have to erase it from your 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 value and then you add up add the next value. Okay, that's what they mean. So. So in this case, while my occurrence at num at i is equal to a, right? So this is simplifying down the exponent while num at occurrence. Is, so this is like when I add it up a certain number of times, right? I got the same a value, right? Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the count. I have to erase the value. So first let's actually get our current current value is actually occurrence at num at i. I think so, yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It's num at i. What, whoops, what am I doing? Num at i. So that's the current exponent we're on, right? Current current exponent. Let's call it current exponent. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the current exponent from our map. So we're gonna erase this. So once we we erase this exponent, and then once we have that, once we erase our exponent, what we're gonna do is we are going to um, increase the count, right? So the current exponent is now going to increase. Right, because we're gonna when you add two to the fourteen plus two to the fourteen, right, and it's equal to uh, two, right? You did that twice. You're gonna reduce the exponents down. So this what this does is it adds one to the exponent, right? So once you finish adding one to the exponent, that's what happens. Um, and then oh yeah, you also have to increase the count of the exponent. So occur at current exponent here plus plus okay all right at the end of this what you want to do is you need to check if the size of current is equal to one because after you're done I'm actually gonna make this larger yeah so it's easier to read okay so at the end of this
Okay, so at the end of this, um, what you want to do is you want to check if the occurrence, the size of the occurrence is uh, equal to one. So yeah, here, equal to the one. Or, um, and one is, yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah. So you have to check if the size of the occurrence and um, the number of occurrences at, uh, I think it's back, back, oh, begin, whoops. Uh, at the beginning, dot second, is that what he did? Yeah, okay, beginning, second, So if this is the case, then we return um, occurrence at beginning first, right? Uh, yeah, I think I think it's first. Yeah, okay. So we return for occurrence at beginning first. And um, why do we do this? So remember in our scenario when we reduce the exponents down to one exponent. So let's go back to this. is 2, we have 13, 13. So 2 to 13 plus 2 to 13 can be 2 to 13 times 2. It's reduced 2 to the 14, right? So at this point, um, what does the code would do is remove both of the 13s and uh, add 14. So if our end of their array is the size is 1 and the number of occurrences is 1, that means you can't reduce it anymore. So this is just the right value. The answer would just be two to the uh, just be fourteen. Okay. So, so that's the reason why. Um, if it was like if there was more values, then you can't you you have to add one. So that's what the guy did on the next one. So over here, yeah, it would be you have to add one to the last value. So so otherwise, you have to do choose R begin. Okay, so the reason why he does r begin, um, occur dot r begin is the last value, which is the largest value in your map, the largest exponent in your map. So what he's doing is that he gets the he gets the largest exponent of his map, and then he adds one, right? And the reason why r begin r begin is the last value of your map of occur, and occur what occur is is that it's uh, it's actually sorted from from lowest to highest, right? Because it's it's a map, it's sorted. So if you get the last value, that's just going to be the largest exponent that you stored. You add one. Okay, so ideally this would work. Um, let's compile. Did not compile. What was the problem? Oh, a long long was not declared in the scope. So let's actually define long long. Uh, long long as. Mm -hmm. Oh, define LL as long low. Okay. Um, and now we just go to the test panel, check all, run all tests. Two got wrong. Return 15. Did I not remove it? Pretty sure I did. Hold up. N. Do, 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 num at n count count dot erase oh i think i don't think okay if you're gonna loop from i to zero to the size i don't think the map erases a current number if I recall, let's see, map, yeah, it erases the, wait, it also erases the key, why is, uh, duh, 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 duh. I don't know, don't know why this is not, current erase, Du, 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 du. 
race n n plus plus current n i hmm I don't know. I mean, we could make it auto. Auto at n. I just don't know why it's not racing. Auto current exponent. Maybe it's because it has to be integer. I was not declared in scope. Oh, current exponent. This has to be current exponent also. <laughs> Something's not right. Current exponent count auto n and num. Oh, whoops, num, not occur. Yep, that's test panel. Now it works. Okay, so that's really weird how it didn't erase it. Maybe it's because, like, yeah, it's, that was super weird. Weird I didn't erase it. Maybe you had to, like, erase at a position. I don't know, because when you use auto, it actually gets the position of num, num. So maybe that's why. But I don't know. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I think I got a, got a reason why I didn't. Well, whatever. I think I understand. Okay, Um, submit it here. Uh, let's run all system tests. And the solution passed system test. So, yeah. That's how you do this problem. I hope you guys understand the solution of planning trips. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.